I'm TapTap, and we're going to talk about how you can still play Flash games in 2021, and even way beyond that. So, if you are here, you must have some good Flash game memories. So, I want to see the comments absolutely exploding with your Flash game nostalgia, your Flash animations. Let me know your favorite animations, games, websites, whatever. We got Cool Gath games right here. We got uh, Newgrounds, shoutouts to Homestar Runner armor games so just load up them comments with your nostalgia we're going to cover four different methods of playing flash games right now after microsoft and adobe have killed the default flash player i'd also like to say this channel will keep having flash game content flash tutorials and all sorts of stuff relating to flash so if you're interested in flash please hit that subscribe button click the little bell and i will be with you shortly with even more flashy goodness so the reason I waited until Flash game was actually quoted quote unquote killed was that I wanted to make sure all of this stuff worked the way I thought it would. Um, I wanted to see how things work before I made the video. That's why I haven't made this video before today. So that's, that's called giving a crap and it's very rare these days. So things actually turned out slightly differently the way I thought. So if you might have noticed that Pale Moon Browser or Newgrounds Flash Player um, stopped working and um, the reason for that is they actually, Microsoft released a Windows 10 update that forcibly disables any Flash version, or at least certain Flash versions you might have. So there is already a workaround about that, but they are going to update the Newgrounds Flash player eventually so you don't have to do with that, I believe. So for right now, I'm not gonna do a tutorial on Newgrounds Flash player because there's a couple ways that don't need any kind of workaround. So we're gonna start with the best ways and work our way down. So, this is Ruffle, it is beautiful. And you might be using Ruffle without even realizing it. Because you see you see this emoticon defense, oh, Flash isn't available in this browser. So, but, but oh no. Well, but what if I want to uh, go to homestarrunner.com? And wait a minute, that looks like Flash. Ruffle Nightly, so, this is Ruffle. This is an absolutely beauteous creation. Um, big shout outs to the Ruffle crew. They are they are pretty much the saviors of Flash. Ruffle is a Flash emulator. So Flash is software. As long as you have a program that can interpret a software file, it can't die. And I don't know why people understand emulators for Game Boys, for Nintendo, for PlayStation, but you say Flash emulator, people are like, no, it's Flash is online. Well, most Flash games aren't always online. They're not like mobile games where they talk back and forth to a server. It's just they're served to you as a file from a website. So Homestar Runner, ArmorGames.com as well, and Newgrounds have implemented this Flash game um, emulator called Ruffle. And you don't have to install anything. This is just already here. In fact, I didn't know about this. This I was as excited as you are. I I was stunned going to uh, going to there and I saw wait wait a minute. I, I did didn't my flash disable and it did. But it it doesn't matter because there's learn to fly. Shout out to again going to be going to be activating some nostalgia tonight. Um here's learn to fly just straight up running. No effort on my part because of ruffle and ruffle is a flash game emulator or a flash it's a flash player emulator that um you can actually embed, if you are a website owner and you have Flash content, check out Ruffle. You can just include this standalone version of Ruffle and it just runs the Flash content. Ruffle is not perfect, Ruffle is not finished. It's an emulator in progress. As you can see, ActionScript 3 barely works and a lot of games do use ActionScript 3. So, you're not gonna get 100% coverage. Homestar Runner, I don't know if they just never used ActionScript 3, but everything seems to work on Homestar Runner. I haven't found any content yet that I can't run. So, Homestar seems to be working great. I don't, maybe they just never used ActionScript 3. Oh, <laughs> make make me a liar, huh? So, ActionScript 3 stuff is a problem, and that's why we have four things, not one thing to show you today. So, basically, if you're on Newgrounds, Armor Games, some of the most common Flash sites in the world, you might not even have to do anything, because they might just already have Ruffle installed. Um, now, to show you how cool Ruffle is, Ruffle isn't just something that you install website-wise. Ruffle can be used in three different ways. On a website, it can be a browser extension, which I've already installed, or as a desktop application. So you can download a desktop version. You don't need to do this yet. The thing about Ruffle, it's not fully finished, so the desktop version, it's, it's a, you have to download a development build. 
So that's why the extension is not in the Chrome store yet. They are still a development version. It's pretty early, so they want to have it more finished before they publish it. And um, But it's pretty simple to use the browser extension. All you really need to do is download this little file from their R releases, you know, download the Windows one. Oh no, excuse me, the, get the browser extension one. You need to open this up, extract this somewhere, and then you can go to extensions, put on developer mode, then you just load unpacked, and I already have it open up here to Ruffle, and I actually already installed Ruffle. So let's turn on Ruffle. <laughs> Puts Flash back on the web where it belongs. Heck yeah. So let's go. Well, I don't. I can't play Emoticon Defense. I'm sure this is a high quality game. Wait a minute. It's a miracle. He's alive. Lassie's alive. Oh wow. This. You know this is gonna be a good game. Yo. Yo. You can tell from the sound effects. So. Yo. A vital piece of internet history, emoticon defense, is perfectly alive, thanks to Ruffle. Uh, I did notice that a lot of games on Cool Math Games use Action Script 3. A lot of games in general use Action Script 3. It's a very popular thing. But Ruffle's, um, Ruffle's support will be expanded, so eventually it should cover everything. I will do another video on Ruffle pretty soon. Uh, just expect this to increase in quality. If you played emula emulators for NES back in, like, late 90s, early 2000s, that stuff was awful. Shoutouts to uh, Nesticle, a real NES emulator that was pretty bad. <laughs> um, but over time, they got better and better, and so eventually these um, compatibility things will hit up 100% and everything should run eventually. Now, if you're like, no tap tap, that's not good enough. Well, I've got good news for you. Um, this is Blue Maxima's Flashpoint. Like I said, there are four major ways that I'm gonna talk about tonight that can play Flash. And the thing is, there's even more than this. These are just the four that I found notable. Uh, while I was looking at Cool Math Games, they recommended a completely different thing I'd never heard of. Flash is software. You can't get rid of software. You can't, you can't. Somebody's gonna be able to make a thing that can play that software. So Flashpoint is a Flash preservation project. It is both a Flash player and a bundle of preserved games. So even if Newgrounds explodes, even if Armor Games is like erased by the CIA, even if Homestar Runner is abducted by aliens and just completely scraped from the web, stuff will still be in, Flash, in Flashpoint's um, database. 70,000 games, 8,000 animations running on 20 different platforms. Let's see what we got here. There's two different kinds of Flashpoint, and uh, I believe you can sub submit new stuff to it, but it's a whole preservation project. It's not just a Flash player. So Flashpoint Ultimate has all 7,000, 70,000 games in it. It's 500 gig download, but I mean 500 gig versus 70,000 games. That's pretty small, actually. Um, it's huge. But if you just want to play games, uh, this is only two gigabytes once installed, 500 meg download, um, Flashpoint Infinity. So it downloads them on demand. And um, so even if, even if the thing about Flashpoint Ultimate, if the internet explodes, all of it, EMP erases everything except your personal computer and you have Flashpoint Ultimate, you can play Flash games forever. The absolute dream. So I already have Flashpoint installed. Let's uh, bring it up. Let's bring up that beautiful footage. Start Flashpoint. Weird thing. If you start up Flashpoint.exe directly, it's, it has problems. But if you load up Start Flashpoint shortcut in the uh, the root directory, it works fine for me. So if you have that problem, um, that's what it is. So so it, this is uh, it has like a Hall of Fame. It has it, categories. It kind of looks like a torrent player. <laughs> um, Shout us to downloading Linux distributions, right? Um, so let's look for Bloons TD. <laughs> there they are. There they are. So Bloons TD 5, sure. Loads up a little Flash player here. And the, the, the reason Flash was killed was um, it's, it had a lot of security issues and Adobe was just terrible at keeping up with it. And uh, it just became less popular. And the thing with these, with the emulators, um, they're in, innately sandboxed. Uh, play as guest. So, so some games have like online features. They probably won't work in Flashpoint because you know it's a it's an all local thing. So let's let's just let me, let me just play a game. Let me just let's just, just play baby game. Yes. Put some monkeys out there. There you go. Bloons TD5. No, only one thing to install. Um, with Ruffle, you don't need to install anything. 
So Flashpoint, Flashpoint is very simple. If you want to just get playing Flash games immediately with no fuss, um, really high quality, Flashpoint is what you want. Ruffle is kind of the future of Flash. It's kind of just everything will just work. And you just, existing files will run, but it will take a little bit of development time. Now, the other two things I want to cover are Newgrounds Flash Player, which, like I said, there was Windows pooped out an update that disabled Flash, and I wasn't expecting, I wasn't expecting it to screw up Flash Player, so that's slightly my bad, but like I said, that's why I waited to make this video to make sure everything would work and what wouldn't. Um, there is a workaround you can do right here. You can just add these allow patterns to a file in your Windows folder. Uh, it, it's explained all here on if you go to the Newgrounds Flash Player. They will be doing an update. Tom Fulp said Newgrounds Flash Player will be updated and it shouldn't be too long. So I'm not going to do a video on Flash Player yet because they're going to do an update and things should work a lot less fuss. So if I told you to download Flash Player and it didn't work, I'm sorry. It's because of this. I didn't know this would happen. Um, Pale Moon browser ha hit a similar issue. Uh, if you have an existing Flash player like I did, um, Windows actually disabled it, so that's why it suddenly stopped working. Um, Pale Moon, in theory, still supports Flash and all that stuff, but because of the Windows update, you just you had that Flash thing removed. So Pale Moon will probably have like an unofficial Flash extension or something added, um, or you could use Ruffle, but um, Ruffle doesn't have perfect stuff, but there probably will add an update to, to Pale Moon that allows you to do... Um, that allows you to load Flash content, but Pale Moon, it's basically a, a branch off of uh, Firefox, right? Because it's an open source browser. And it lets you load extensions and stuff that Firefox might not. Um, but at current, if you download Pale Moon browser, it does not have Flash installed, it can't run Flash without some finagling. So I'm just putting out that Pale Moon exists. It will probably be able to flash, play Flash in the future. Um, Newgrounds Flash Player is a desktop application that you can download stuff on. Uh, a couple people asked me about Chromebook and um, Apple stuff. Um, I don't have those devices, but Ruffle should work just fine on those. Ruffle, you can add as a Chrome extension as long as you're able to add um, an unsigned extension. I don't know exactly how Chromebooks work. Um, that's slightly, it's kind of up to you. Eventually, Ruffle will be released officially on the store, but it's just kind of an in-dev thing at the moment. So, um, and also, if you don't want to install anything at all, you can just head on over to um, archive.org. has a bunch of stuff archived. Shoutouts to Jason Scott and archive.org. Love these guys. Um, they have a Flash game showcase of the handpicked Flash games and Flash content. Like, oh, hell yeah. We might do a reaction stream someday of Flash game, or of Flash animation stuff, by the way. Oh, that's the stuff. Kids these days. Kids these days just don't know what we had. We had better things. And you can get this so much detail. Look, you can zoom in. That's what I always loved about Flash. Because it's vectors. So you can zoom in infinitely. Except this player doesn't let you zoom in infinitely. But this was the internet, man. I, I don't know how to explain it to you. Um, <laughs> bubble wrap. Oh, Lumita girl. Oh, I might get content ID'd for that. But yeah, um, so this is all using Ruffle. And so archive.org has a bunch of handbook stuff that's guaranteed to work because it's using Ruffle and it's, you know, set up right. Um, so that's that's just kind of a quick peek into Flash. But if you really want to dive deep into Flash, Blue Maxima's Flashpoint or Ruffle are the best. Newgrounds player, I'm sure, will be great. But again, they're going to do an update on that. So expect a video soon, going deep diving into Flashboy. But honestly, it's so simple, you don't need me to. Um, Expect another video on Ruffle explaining how to work with the kind of work in progress version. Um, should be pretty quick. It's not too hard. They have instructions right here. You could really just figure it out. But um, big shout outs to Flash. Thank you so much for still caring about Flash games. I, I still do Flash game Let's Plays on this here channel. I still stream Flash games. So if you like Flash content, go ahead and follow and subscribe. Remember to leave me a comment talking about your favorite Flash game memories. I will be here forever, and Flash Games will be here forever on this channel and otherwise. So, thank you for watching. Have a great day. Keep enjoying Flash.